Human nature is evil, and goodness is caused by intentional activity. The person attempting to travel two roads at once will get nowhere. When people lack teachers, their tendencies are not corrected, when they do not have ritual and moral principles, then their lawlessness is not controlled. In order to properly understand the big picture, everyone should fear becoming mentally clouded and obsessed with one small section of truth. Pride and excess bring disaster for man. When you concentrate on agriculture and industry, and are frugal in expenditures, heaven cannot impoverish your state. Therefore, a person should first be changed by a teacher's instructions, and guided by principles of ritual. Only then can he observe the rules of courtesy and humility, obey the conventions and rules of society, and achieve order. A person is born with feelings of envy and hate. If he gives way to them, they will lead him to violence and crime, and any sense of loyalty and good faith will be abandoned. A person is born with desires of the eyes and ears, and a liking for beautiful sights and sounds. If he gives way to them, they will lead him to immorality and lack of restriction, and any ritual principles and propriety will be abandoned. Music is a fantastic peacekeeper of the world, it is integral to harmony, and it is a required fundamental of human emotion. A person is born with a liking for profit. If knowledge and foresight are too penetrating and deep, unify them with ease and sincerity. I once tried standing up on my toes to see far out in the distance, but I found that I could see much farther by climbing to a high place. Human nature and deliberate effort must unite, and then the reputation of the sage and the work of unifying all under heaven are thereupon brought to completion. Whether the gentleman is capable or not, he is loved all the same, conversely the petty man is loathed all the same. I once tried thinking for an entire day, but I found it less valuable than one moment of study. When a man sees something desirable, he must reflect on the fact that with time it could come to involve what is detestable. When he sees something that is beneficial, he should reflect that sooner or later it, too, could come to involve harm. When you locate good in yourself, approve of it with determination. When you locate evil in yourself, despise it as something detestable. Sacrifices are concerned with the feelings of devotion and longing. If the quickness of the mind and the fluency of the tongue are too punctilious and sharp, moderate them in your activity in rest. Mencius said that human nature is good. I disagree with that. If the impulse to daring and bravery is too fierce and violent, stay it with guidance and instruction. The rigid cause themselves to be broken, the pliable cause themselves to be bound. The coming of honor or disgrace must be a reflection of one's inner power. Those whose character is mean and vicious will rouse others to animosity against them. If what the heart approves conforms to proper patterns, then even if one's desires are many, what harm would they be to good order? If the blood humor is too strong and robust, 
comet with balance and harmony. If the gentleman has ability, he is magnanimous, generous, tolerant, and straightforward, through which he opens the way to instruct others. Since the nature of people is bad, to become corrected they must be taught by teachers and to be orderly they must acquire ritual and moral principles. You will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. In antiquity the sage kings recognized that men's nature is bad and that their tendencies were not being corrected and their lawlessness controlled. Human nature is what heaven supplies. There are successful scholars, public-spirited scholars, upright scholars, cautious scholars, and those who are merely petty men. Human nature refers to what is in people but which they cannot study or work at achieving. Human nature is such that people are born with a love of profit if they follow these inclinations, they will struggle and snatch from each other, and inclinations to defer or yield will die.